the Water Hub is a research, innovation and training center. It is situated on a decommissioned wastewater treatment plant near the town of Fronchuk in the Western Cape, South Africa. It is surrounded by vineyards and connected to an informal settlement of over 6,000 residents, the latter bringing sharp attention to the developmental focus and context of the water hub. The informal settlement of Langrucht is characterised by compact living spaces, difficulties in accessing clean, safe water and sanitation services, along with poor drainage systems that impact on the quality of living and health. Contaminated water finds its way into the stormwater system and discharges into the river alongside. The river banks have succumbed to neglect and are overgrown with weeds and covered in plastic litter and other waste. Habitat is degraded, let alone public enjoyment of the river corridor. Contrasting conditions present a stark reality and highlight the challenges for the water hub, thus emphasizing the imperative of working together in a developmental space. These wine farms of Franschuk are renowned for attracting thousands of visitors each year. The water hub is thus ideally situated to contribute to the visitor experience. The river flows past vineyards through the water hub and then discharges into the Franschuk River along its western border. The old wastewater treatment plant no longer receives sewage. The water hub will modify and use existing infrastructure to introduce ways of treating contaminated surface water by using, for example, biofiltration beds, wetlands and ponds, settling systems and floating wetlands. The challenge is to build new knowledge and understanding about efficiencies, performance, operation and maintenance of these systems. These biofiltration cells are designed to treat a portion of surface and stormwater. Water quality is carefully monitored at each cell outlet. Restoration of the river will focus on rebuilding the banks, planting local vegetation and establishing habitat with the aim of restoring ecosystem services, thus making room for the river to process and clean water naturally. The research office and reception building is already off-grid and fully functional. This research laboratory is an exciting learning space. We imagine a series of controlled tanks that will enable us to learn, for example, how microbial activity surrounding the roots of plants is capable of treating water. The laboratory will bring together scientific disciplines in a joint effort to deal with new questions and seeking new practical solutions. These oxidation ponds will be used for breeding fish and for extracting resources such as biofuels and phosphates. The hub must offer visitors an enjoyable experience of a nature park. This biodiversity pond is the final polishing element in the treatment train of water on its journey before it reaches the Franschuk and Berg rivers. Clean water attracts people bird life and is far more capable of supporting a diversity of aquatic species and plants. This is a place for people to connect with nature and with each other and is an ideal setting for weddings, conferences, workshops and educational visits. Restoring the river starts at the hub and will extend slowly upstream. As it progresses, it will raise interest and invite the participation of local residents. The river is a powerful link between the hub and residents living upstream. Food gardens show simple, manageable techniques for growing food on a small scale. The vision is to grow food for consumption, but of such a high quality that local restaurants and hotels will no longer want to import food from further afield. These two large settling tanks form key structures for the business enterprise that will be used to generate a sustainable income stream for research. The restaurant will keep the innards of the old settling tanks intact 
as a reminder of a previous way of treating water. The neighboring tank offers flexible space for conference and workshop activities. Viewed from above, the roofs of these tanks are decked with plants that filter in clean water. This technology is largely underexplored as an element of water-sensitive urban design. Visitors can access the rooftop and enjoy the stunning views of the Franschhoek Valley. Upstairs is a formal conference room for up to 250 attendees. Offices and breakaway rooms support the conference facility. It is also a space to test and demonstrate emerging water-based technologies. The invitation is for inventors, entrepreneurs and researchers to display products and to seek endorsements from the research community that might go a long way towards improving the prospects for bringing innovation to the marketplace. The final precinct is a set of living and working houses that demonstrate affordable off-grid units built to be resilient to extreme weather conditions and are efficient in demanding less energy compared to conventional housing units. In summary, the Water Hub is a bold new vision to establish a research and innovation centre of learning that will improve our understanding of technologies and, importantly, will improve our understanding of how people interact with these new systems. In addition, new knowledge and experience, grounded in research, will be transferred through hands-on workshops, practical experiences and joint learning. These are critical ingredients urgently required for the development of skills and building capacity for the future. It must inspire a new generation who in turn will become increasingly confident to lead South Africa into a sustainable future. Building strong partners and partnerships is critical to the long-term sustainability of the project. Visit the website for more information.